Welcome to the Assistant Manager's How-To Articles. This video is going to show you exactly how to set up your Dell monitor. In this video, we are setting up a Dell 15-inch touchscreen monitor with USB interface and saw. However, the process is nearly identical for the setup of all Dell monitors. Let's begin. Initially, in your box, you will find a small box, some paper-bound pamphlets, a CD, and the monitor itself. Carefully take the monitor out of the bag set it down on a flat surface, remove the bag off of it, and then set it back upright on the surface. Now let's go over what else you will find in the box besides your computer monitor. When you open the small box, you will find several cables. Inside this box is an audio cable, a touch screen cable, a dual monitor cable, which we will not use in this demonstration because we are not setting up a dual monitor. If you would like to learn more about how to set up a dual monitor, you can find information in your monitor manual or you can call the help desk. A monitor cable, and a power cable. Now, in order to start the process of setting up your monitor, take your monitor and carefully lay it down flat on its screen and remove the cable cover located on the back of the monitor. Now, I will show you how to connect the audio cable. In order to do this, you must first take the audio cable out of the bag it comes in. Then, take the blue end of the audio cable that is displayed and locate the port on the back of the monitor that is distinguished in this picture with a red arrow and a box. Run the audio cable through the open hole in the base of the monitor and plug the cable into the previously displayed port and make sure it is secure. Now, take the green end of the audio cable that is displayed and locate the port on the back of the computer that is distinguished in this picture with a red box and an arrow. Plug the audio cable into this port and make sure it is secure. Next, I will show you how to connect your monitor to power. To start, you must first take the power cord and take it out of the bag it comes in and remove the twist tie. Next, take the end of the power cable that is displayed and once again locate the port on the back of the monitor that is distinguished in this picture with a red box and an arrow. Run the power cable through the open hole in the base of the monitor and plug the cable into the previously displayed port and make sure it is secure. Now, take the other end of the power cable that is displayed and plug it into any available power source. Next, I'm going to show you how to connect the touchscreen cable. Take the touchscreen cable out of the bag and remove the twist tie on the cable. Then take the end of the touchscreen cable that is displayed and locate the port on the back of the monitor that is distinguished in this picture with a red box and an arrow. Run the touchscreen cable through the open hole in the base of the monitor and plug the cable into the previously displayed port and make sure it is secure. Now, take the other end of the touchscreen cable that is displayed and locate the port on the back of the computer that is distinguished in this picture with a red box and an arrow. Plug the touchscreen cable into this port and make sure it is secure. The last cable you need to connect is the monitor cable. Take the monitor cable out of the bag it comes in. Then, take the end of the monitor cable that is displayed and locate the port on the back of the monitor that is distinguished in this picture with a red box and an arrow. Run the monitor cable through the open hole in the base of the monitor and plug the cable into the previously displayed port and make sure it is secure. Then screw the two stabilizers into the port as well until they are tight and the cable is stable. Now, take the other end of the touchscreen cable that is displayed and locate the port on the back of the computer that is distinguished in this picture with a red box and a red arrow. Plug the monitor cable into this port and make sure it is secure. Then screw the two stabilizers into this port as well until they are tight and the cable is stable. Now that you have connected all of the cables, there are only a few more steps for you to do in order to finish the setup of your monitor. 
You must first clip the cable cover back onto the monitor by gathering the cables so that they fit into the designated hole and then slide the cover back into place. Now take the monitor, flip it back onto the base and adjust the monitor screen to your preference. You can now remove the protective cover from the screen since you will no longer need to put the monitor screen down on the surface. After you have finished the screen, place your mouse and keyboard where they are best suited for use by you. And that's it. You have successfully set up your Dell touchscreen monitor. Thank you for viewing this how-to demonstration. If you have any other questions about the proper setup of your computer, please contact us at the number or email listed.